Hey everyone, in this video we're checking out a mind-blowing shipping container house that was built in Ontario, Canada. It's built with three shipping containers. Two of them are stacked and cantilevered on one side, and the other one is a custom-built oversized container on the ground floor. There's a steel frame structure in the middle that connects them all together and creates space for the staircase to the second floor and for some big picture windows. Amazingly, there's an equal amount of indoor and outdoor living space here, and that's mostly due to the fact that the flat roofs and the space under the cantilever can easily be transformed into deck and patio spaces. We're gonna meet up with the owner and the designer to find out more about this incredible build, so let's go check it out. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. We'll tell you more about them at the end, plus what you need to get a huge discount on their VPN service. What I love about building with shipping containers is the uniqueness of them. Uh, the modern look, the sleek look, the corrugated steel that's inside, the rusted beams, and the, the natural attributes of, of containers are beautiful. The neat thing about using shipping containers is they come in multiple different sizes. Uh, you can put them together in different ways. Essentially, it's like a large Lego set for adults. Uh, so where I got the inspiration for this project was actually the site itself. It's a great site. Uh, it's elevated, so I wanted to try to capture the views. I wanted to make the space livable and functional and still have a lot of fun with it. So we've been building with containers for approximately 12 years. And over time and over the years, we've performed a, a number of projects from uh, three-story apartment buildings through to row homes or single-story townhome developments all out of shipping containers. But this particular unit itself is our first container home that we've built. It's a 1,488 square foot home that's built out of three containers, um, two 8x40 high cube containers, and one custom 12x40 uh, container that was specifically designed for uh, another project. So it's not a standard shipping container, um, but it's still built the exact same way as a container, it's just 12 feet wide. So with the exterior design of this property, I wanted to make it really modern. So we used a lot of different materials, hardy board panels, um, Maybeck siding, and then corrugated steel that resembles the shipping container because it's nice to keep the container look. And I wanted to have a nice rooftop deck. So with the 12 by 40 container, there was a beautiful area to put a 480 square foot rooftop deck that overlooked the beautiful water right across the road. And then I kind of wanted to cantilever a couple containers just to get a cooler vibe and some nice covered front entry and another exterior deck. It's 1,488 square feet of interior space and actually 1,488 square feet of exterior space. So we're in the center of the, really the main floor of the cottage. So off to the one side, inside the 12 by 40 container, uh, we have the kitchen area, we have a dining area. Uh, there's a mechanical room with a laundry unit inside of it. And then that leads into the master bedroom with the master bathroom. Uh, the central area here is really the living space. So we're between the two containers. Um, so we have about a 10 foot span between uh, container to container to create some open space for a living space. Access out to the, the, the back deck and the patio. Uh, behind us, we sort of tucked in a, what we call the coffee room, which is a small area in the back of an 8x40 container um, that has an indoor outdoor fireplace and it has access to the exterior, which leads up to the hot tub. Um, and then at the front entrance, we have a small closet. Uh, we have a powder room, a two-piece powder room. So this is a typical opening in the container. Um, we cut out our opening and then weld in some more HSS steel. Uh, we like the effect of leaving it exposed because then you get that nice look. Uh, this is the infill section that is a full metal infill part. It gives you the look of both and how they come together. So this is the infill section. We're upstairs. Uh, this is where we really get the elevated view of the forest. We get the elevated view of the water. So it's a beautiful area in the cottage. Um, it also gives us the ability uh, to show a lot more of the exposed container walls. So on the interior walls, we don't have to insulate on the interior uh, like we do on the exterior. So you can show the steel off. Uh, upstairs here, we also have access to the rooftop patio, which is 480 square feet on top of the 12 by 40. Uh, and then we also have a private patio that comes off one of the rear bedrooms. Uh, and then in the center, we have the washroom uh, and the shower room that are split. And then we have a front bedroom that has a beautiful picture window that shows the lake. 
Uh, and then in the infill space, we were also able to put what we call a flop room. Um, so it's another smaller living room. So it's just an area in the house that's separate from the downstairs living room to create two tiers of space and two areas if you have company or if you have people. What we really tried to incorporate was that the upstairs would be independent from the downstairs. The design of it's actually built with some fairly rustic and simple materials. So it, it comes together very, very nicely, but um, to be truthful, a lot of what's in here is relatively inexpensive. Um, so we use the container, the core of the containers themselves to sort of create um, some of the visual effects inside um, and some of the big walls that you see. Um, but then the rest of it really is rough cut lumber, um, simple stained pine. Uh, we have rusted beams that we've left all over for some of the architectural effects. Um, the staircases and the upper railings are um, actually made out of a conduit. Um, so we tried to incorporate a whole bunch of industrial materials and simple materials and trying to put together sort of a modern rustic type of look. We insulate from the outside and the interior. So what we'll do is we'll add in the same layers as a typical home. We have our siding, strapping, our vapor barrier, then we do a rigid insulation. That gives us an extra layer of protection and then doesn't take away too much space of the interior. And then on the interior, we do either a stud wall with spray foam and then gypsum wallboard, or we'll do a FRP panel, which is an insulated panel. So then it's basically a sandwich between the corrugated steel from the outside and the inside. So by doing the sandwich effect, that prevents the condensation. These units are on a helical pile foundation. So it's a metal post that has a helix on the bottom of it um, because we wanted to have a crawl space underneath the buildings to access all of our, uh, our plumbing and we ran everything underneath the building. So um, the helical pile design with shipping containers is very effective. It's simple, but they can really be put on any type of foundation, whether that's a concrete foundation or if a footing or all different types of, from wood cribbing right through to a full basement. We built it specifically to be a demo home for Northern Shield, but it was also our personal cottage. Uh, and really on a whim, Angie and I, my wife, we were, we were always interested in Airbnbs. And so we thought, oh, well, we have the cottage. We weren't going to use it in the winter. And so here, this is a chance for people to actually come in, see what it's like to live inside of a container home, really get a sense of the size and the feel and, and really answer a lot of their own questions. Uh, but uh, we still enjoy it quite regularly. Um, we love it. So we get asked all the time, is it cheaper than conventional construction? And the easiest way that we answer that question is that really if materials wise, by the time you buy your container, you make the modifications, you weld in the HSS and you do everything that you need to do, materials work out generally the same as conventional materials. So um, being a modular builder, um, where we see the advantages is really in the speed and delivery of the unit. You're building inside a factory, you have control and you have more certainty than you do building on a job site. And so these aren't for everyone. There's a lot of people, you know, especially in the community where we are, um, it seems to be that there's a love and a hate. Um, so people are interested in them and we have a lot of people saying, but that's not for me. Uh, and then we have other people that are literally leaving notes on our door um, asking to be able to get a tour or if we can get some more information on how to build a container home. If you want to find out more about this container home, we'll put the link to the Northern Shield website and the Airbnb in the description below. We want to thank NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Almost everything we do these days involves the internet. We work online, we use our credit cards online, and we keep in touch with family and friends online. We wouldn't feel comfortable doing all this if our internet connection wasn't protected. NordVPN is a virtual private network service that keeps all our internet data safe behind a wall of next generation encryption. It's super easy to use. You just click to connect and you're protected. And if you ever do have a problem, they have a 24 seven support team to help. Right now you can get a two year plan at a huge discount plus four additional months for free when you go to nordvpn.com slash exploring alternatives. They have a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk in trying it out. To get the deal, our link is nordvpn.com slash exploring alternatives or you can click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.